never too early to think about your financial future, even if you're a millennial. Chris Otto from Banco Investment Services, a non-bank subsidiary of Bank of Hawaii, is here to talk about what they can do to prepare for their future. And we know the economic climate is different for millennials, but what should they be doing? Yeah, to be honest, Grace, most millennials are very skeptical about Social Security. Mm -hmm. Most of them think it's not going to be around, or at least not in its current construct. And so that means they're worried about planning for their own retirement and it's going to depend all on them. All right, so what are some tips that will help them alleviate the pressure in thinking about a retirement fund? Well, first and foremost, you got to start early. And by that, I mean pay yourself first. So before you go to the bar, whether it's a coffee bar, <laughs> juice bar, or sports bar, make right. sure you pay yourself first. And the easiest way to do that is set up some kind of automated savings plan, whether it goes into a bank account or an investment account. But start early and automate it as much as possible. Because it's hard sometimes when you're a millennial or when you're younger because you're not making as much, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and a lot of millennials, for that reason, don't participate in their company's 401k plan when they get hired. And, and they always say, hey, maybe next time or maybe if I get a raise in the future. But one of the biggest assets that a millennial has is time. And so if you put time on your side and you start early, uh, it could make a, a world of difference in retirement. And so uh, make sure you participate in your company's 401k plan as soon as you're eligible. Uh, try at least to put in the amount uh, to take advantage of any employer match, which right. is typically 5%. That's free money. It's free money. You're leaving <laughs> money on the table if you're not at least putting in um, the amount to get the match. And then another tip I would give people is um, at least annually, try and increase that amount by 1%. You're barely going to recognize or realize that 1% is taken out of your paycheck. But before you know it, you're going to be putting 10 to 15% of your money away for retirement. All right. So any other tips for millennials? Yeah. Um, as far as um, additional tips, you know, I think Albert Einstein said it best. You know, he said uh, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> right. And, and those who understand that, you know, earn it. And those who don't pay it. And so you got to make sure you put compound interest on, on your side. And again, millennials, having time as your, your most valuable assets, make sure you get your investments and your savings compounding in interest as early as possible. All right, so some things to think about if you are a millennial, since you only live once. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the millennials, as they say, YOLO, and so you only live once, so make it count, start early. Chris is so hip. He's all about you now. He's got the lingo down with the millennials. I like it. All right, so for Chris Otto from Banco Investment Services, I'm Grace Lee for Smart Money Monday.